This is Michaela for Airsoft Station. Today, we're taking a quick look at one essential accessory you can't play airsoft without, your gun's battery. Having a good battery is crucial to getting the best performance out of your AEG. High quality airsoft batteries last longer, provide a faster trigger response, and increase the rate of fire of electrical airsoft guns. For airsoft replicas, there are many different configurations of batteries. Some of the most popular are the nunchuck, the buffer tube, the peck box, or the stick. Before we go any farther, there are some considerations we should look at. First is the type of connector you need. There are two main types. Tamiya plugs are the most common connectors on an AAG and batteries today. They provide an adequate connection between battery and AAG, as well as having a retention clip that keeps them connected. Deems plugs. These are popular choices among veteran airsoft players for a variety of reasons. They offer the best battery to gun connection. In some cases, can actually increase the rate of fire slightly in some AAGs. Very few guns come with Dean Plugs standard and are often an aftermarket upgrade. The next consideration is voltage. The higher the voltage the battery has, the higher the rate of fire your AEG. Most guns can take a battery from 7.4 to an 11.1 volt. The 11.1 battery will maximize the rate of fire on most AEGs, but not all guns can take the higher voltage on an 11.1. If you're unsure, Use a 7.4 to a 9.6 battery, just to be safe. The third consideration is capacity. Capacity of the battery is determined by the MA rating, or the milliamp hours. The higher the MA rating, the longer the battery will last before it requires recharging. Let's divide the batteries into two different kinds. The first is the NIM, or the nickel metal hydride battery. These come in two voltages, 8.4 and 9.6. These batteries are made up from smaller batteries called cells. Each cell is a 1.2 volt. An 8.4 volt battery has 7 cells, and a 9.6 has 8 cells. An estimation for how long a NIM battery will last is roughly 1 BB per MA. Thus, the 1600 MA battery should allow your AEG to shoot approximately 1600 BBs before you have to recharge it. This will vary with the age of the battery, the wiring of the gun, and other factors, but it's a good estimation. In general, the NIM batteries are a good choice for your airsoft gun. They deliver good discharge rates and are easy to charge and use. Most airsoft stores carry them. The downsides are, they don't work as well in cold weather, they can discharge themselves over time, and may not fit all guns. The other type of battery is the LiPo, or lithium polymer. These come in either 7.4 and 11.1 volt batteries. These are made from 2 or 3 cell 3.7 volt batteries. These are smaller in size, but have a higher discharge rate. This is called their C rating. A good rule to go by for airsoft guns is a C rating between 15 and 30 C. You can see here, the different shapes and sizes let you install them in a large variety of guns. Because LiPo batteries can discharge at a much faster rate, you may notice a faster trigger response time. And with the higher rate, a 7.4 LiPo will give you about the same rate of fire as a 9.6 NIM, but in a smaller sized battery. The capacity of the LiPo battery is about the same as a NIM battery, but you get on average 2 BBs per 1 MA, so double the amount of BBs per battery. LiPo batteries are also a good choice because their smaller size allows you more fit options, the higher discharge will give you better trigger response, and when stored, they discharge at a lower rate. The downside of LiPo is, they're a little higher in price. These batteries also need a charger made specifically for LiPo batteries. They take more care in charging and maintenance than a NIM battery, but do overall produce better results. If you want to see all the batteries we carry, Check us out on the web at www.airsoftstation.com or come to our walk-in store. This is Michaela for Airsoft Station, helping you upgrade your game.